10 cent, 10 apps for 10 cent deal. Yeah, they're but, they're so, all beautiful like, games so far, though. I mean, the, just amazing yeah. quality. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. Awesomeness. Thank you, Eric. Uh, back over the door. Okay. Oh, hey. um, another final shout out, GNU Northeast Line Specs, which if you want to have any inkling to listen to, or let me phrase that, know more about, you can go to frostbitemedia.org, click on Frostcast OG or Frostcast MP3. Those are the feeds. Episode 64 through episode 70. Each one of them is a talk from that event. So you can download and listen to the talks. Find out more about the, the uh, best. Cool. And again, at opensource.com, I got kind of hooked, Steve. Um, hmm. I, pl- I played Su- um, Sudoku a little bit, and it basically didn't interest me. Once I looked at it and figured out there's multiple ways to solve this, I don't like that. You know, mm-hmm. anything with numbers and math, to me, <clears throat> there should only be one correct answer, and that's it. Okay. Multiple answers to me, it's not, it's no longer math. It's, I don't know. <laughs> uh, All right. Something. Well, the game I found is called Math Doku. Huh. Okay. This, it, this game is a little bit hard to explain, but I'll say it like this. You can pick different size boards anywhere from four to four up to nine to nine size grids. On the small one, four by four, let's say there are, square shapes or shapes based off of squares so you can have rectangles you can have l's and all these different shapes in that square so they're like cordoned off so there's different shapes in there like tetris kind of shapes yes exactly and each each individual shape will have a number inside it and a math sign so you might see 24x or 1 minus or 10 plus kind of thing what that means is if it's a it, it, if it is a uh, multiplication sign what that means is if you take each of those numbers in that square and multiply them by themselves so if it's a three blocker and it says times um, um, times 12 then the contents of that could be three four and one three times four is 12 12 times one is if uh, it's a block that's too long and it's plus uh, 10, which is impossible, a two block and it's a plus uh, five, then it's a two and a three. I mean, so each block has its own custom range that fits in the block. And on top of it, from right to left and from top to bottom, it has to be one, two, three, and four. No, no uh, duplicates. Okay. So not only do you have to know what numbers to put in there but in which order too so there is only one way to solve this puzzle huh. now if it's a bit hard a bit hard to comprehend no worries man download the app look, run the app try to put some numbers in that you think makes sense and you can hit menu and check progress i believe is the button and it will highlight blocks that you have done wrong okay so it basically kind of helps you understand what's going on and what how this works kind of thing. It's really not difficult once you get it. Right. Once you get, oh, okay, so minus one, two, and three. Two minus, or three minus two is one. So, you know, that's how you get the minus one. If it's times uh, 24, then it's like three, four, and two. Three times four is 12. 12 times two is 24. Okay. It's a very logic-based game. I say. see. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah. I really had to put the phone down a couple times. <laughs> really? Yeah. It I, was just... I didn't know fun. you were so one-solution oriented of a person. Well, for, that's the only... Sudoku. That's why I liked math. Once hmm. I found out in math... Okay, you, 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 there's only one answer. Uh, ever? Okay, fine. I'm going to find out a better, faster way that I like to get to the answer to this question, and that's the way I'm going to do it. <laughs> I literally had arguments with teachers. My mom came in, too. I said, look, if you look how I did it, and if it doesn't make any sense to you, I'll be happy to explain it to you. You know, you know, 10-year-old saying that to a teacher. I said, and then you're going to make 
my answer marked correct because it is correct. <laughs> oh, I used to get in trouble for that all the time. Mm-hmm. What? Put the right answer. Put in the right, an- it- right yeah. answer, but not putting how you did it. Well, you can put yeah, not doing it the way he liked it. Then. Right, right. Things like that. Yeah. Very cool. Thank you. Good one, Dor. You guys got anything on this one? I'd like it as much as Sudoku if Google Goggles will solve it for me like it does. <laughs> yeah, I got to say, no disrespect to Dor, but in the beginning when he was explaining all the numbers and all that, dude, I heard Charlie Brown's teacher. That's all <laughs> I was hearing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Well, well. I know. That's how I am. That's how I am with my son's math homework, man. It's just like, oh, oh my. Everything is so different now. and oh, Is it it's really? So it's different? Yeah, they just oh, teach him oh, oh, oh. some really crazy ways yes. to do like the simplest math problems, man. It's like, yeah. and then, but if you know, you feel weird because it's like I want to be like Ethan. Look, uh, take what they're saying, forget about it. Just do you know, do this. But then it's like you're going against the teacher. It's just this whole thing. But then he'll understand mm-hmm. like the old school way. But then they have all this like lattice math and crap that they have, and it's just right. you know, weird. Wow, yeah, Trust, I didn't know that. that sucks. Trust me, Steve. If you have kids, you will be hit in the face with this. If you go <laughs> to Wikipedia and search the um the new math, you can read up on it. I my son had an issue where he had to say what is you know three plus five or something like that, and I simply wrote three below the number three, two, and then a plus next to it, and put a line under. I said, now add it up. He said, I've never seen it done like that before. (laughs) What? That's the only way to do it. What are you talking about? No, it it was like 25 plus 25 is what it was. They're first trying to teach him to comprehend coins, adding them up. What's a quarter plus a quarter add up to and weird geometry type stuff. What? I got to check this out. And the kid does not know anything about actual numbers. They're just trying to drill into him a quarter plus a quarter. Is fifty cents. Wow. Four quarters equals a dollar. They're 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 trying to get him to understand that before understanding numbers. The fundamentals of numbers. That's messed up. I will check I it out. Just... The new math. You got me curious now. Yeah, it's confusing. All righty. Good stuff. Sean, back to you. Sean, oh, okay. Hey, it looks a little different. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I had to throw it out. I was gonna throw it out earlier, but my head was like boom, boom, boom. So <laughs> that's cool. You know, Feeling better now. Nice. Okay, um, I'm gonna break the cycle of games right now. Another game? Oh, you're no, oh, said, you're gonna break the cycle. Okay, I'm cool. Break the cycle temporarily. Nice, I should say. Okay, um, so uh, every once in a while, we use Netflix. Actually, not every once in a while. I, we always use Netflix at the house. We have very minimal cable, um, but downstairs in the living room, we run our Netflix through my uh, Blu-ray player, and it doesn't have a search button. So when the kids want, yeah, I want to have this or like tonight before the show earlier, I wanted to start watching Mad Men. Never watched it. Watched the first episode at work today. So I'm like, I'm going to put it in the queue, except for there's no search button. So I had two options. I could get out this app, which is my Netflix queue. And uh, I could add it that way because I don't want to have to get up off the couch and walk, you know, all the way up the stairs and get on the computer. So uh, that's why I like this app. There's there's a bunch of Netflix Q apps, but a lot of them, for some reason, all they really do is show you what's in your Q, whether it be uh, your instant or if you, if you still do DVD Blu-rays. But a lot of them don't let you search. Or they don't, I'm sorry, they'll let you search, but they won't let you add it. And so this application is nice because I can search for a certain show or movie um, and then say, okay, add that to my instant Q. And then... You refresh it on your TV, and uh, excuse me. And it's called My and Netflix Q. Yeah, let me check it out. Nice. Good yeah, that's good for people with Xboxes too, and and things that where you just can't see all the shows that are out there. I say it's yeah, good for someone with a wife. <laughs> it's weird how some. You know, however you're accessing, you know, I have the my, my LG Blu-ray player downstairs. I have a PS3 in a basement, and then I have my review up here, which the review, I can actually search within the Netflix app. I, you know, I can look through the queue, or I can search on Netflix. And it's just weird how certain things will let you search, and I, I just don't get why my Blu-ray player won't. I've had multiple updates to it, and that's one thing they never give me. So 
I like being able to just, you know, the kids go, Dad, you know, is there any whatever, Jimmy Neutron? I go, Mom's on the computer, so we pull it out. Jimmy Neutron, oh, there's season one, add to the queue. Go and refresh your queue on the TV, and there it is. Wow. It's badass. Yeah, so it's simple, but uh, it works. Really cool. Right. What were you going to say, Dor? It's very cool. I just I think it's great for anyone with a wife, so I can go in and put stuff I want above her guardian, <laughs> the guardian, which I got to say, I'm starting to like it. So, Eric, did you actually end up watching The Guardian after you Dor mentioned it last week? I haven't yet. Okay. No. <laughs> I know you wanted to see that. You're starting to well, like it, Dor? I'm actually starting to like it. And I think because it's based in Pittsburgh, it's not New York, it's not D.C., it's not L.A., at least that's a different spin on a show. You know what I mean? What if it was in Baltimore? Then I can't watch it. <laughs> Just like I can't watch The Wire because... I didn't know how bad Baltimore is. And and as horribly as this sounds, that show's not quite violent enough. Really? <laughs> oh, no, it ain't it's crazy. It ain't close to it. <laughs> um, but I will say, if you are on Netflix, you check out Lily Hammer. It's a Netflix-only exclusive. You'll never see it anywhere else kind of thing, quote, unquote, huh. except on Netflix. I heard about is it. That um, the, is that the Kevin yeah. Spacey show? No, 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 no. This is uh, Stephen Van Zant, the guy from... Uh, Sopranos, right? Sopranos and from the East Street band with Bruce Springsteen. It's actually kind of funny. It's I think it's actually a pretty good show. Hmm. I heard about it. That's it interesting. That's has, interesting. Netflix having original programming. Yeah, and he, <laughs> you uh, every second has down. that look <laughs> on his face. <laughs> <laughs> every second. What is it? Lily Hammer? Yeah. He um he basically has to go in with to witness protection and he and he said but i'm not going anywhere in this country because it's not safe for me and I'm like, well where do you want to go i'm thinking lily hammer like, what are you talking about in lily hammer well one nobody's going to be looking for me there and two when they had those oh oh um oh uh, olympics there it was freaking beautiful so they ship them to lily hammer <laughs> That's great. Within a and within a week, he's committed multiple crimes. Found himself a handgun. He has a handgun, which you can't have there. He opens up a club with girls wearing tight shorts. It's like My Blue Heaven. Did you ever see My Blue well, Heaven? Dude, oh, dude that's I love the My Blue best Heaven. Freaking movie, man. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> great. But this is not well, a comedy. This is not a comedy. I think parts of it is funny, but it's not a comedy. I got you. Neat, yeah, man. my blue hat was great with uh Rick Moranis. Ever since I watched that movie now, once in a great while, I forget to unbuckle my seatbelt and I try to get out of the car. Really? <laughs> <laughs> it's like that movie subconsciously affected me. I forget. What, what does Rick Moranis do it all the time? Oh, every time he gets out of the car, <clears throat> and it like, you know, <clears throat> <laughs> that's great. Yeah. Well, it looks like Sean has it in his queue. Yep, oh, and I, it's I moved it to the top position, so I'll. She'll get mad at that. <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah, doing I, that. I'll just say it doesn't have the production value of Avatar, okay? But it doesn't need to be. He's sure. in Lily Hammer. He's surrounded by snow. You know? <laughs> nice. All right. Well, cool stuff, guys. Let's bring it back over to Eric. All right. I'm going to take it back to the games. Okay. Uh, by the way, that was my Netflix queue, the letter Q, if somebody needs that for their for their phone tonight. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take it back to the games, and this one is a familiar favorite. If you have kids, you're definitely going to know or heard of Annoying Orange. (laughs) So um, this is called Annoying Orange uh, Kitchen Carnage in the in the in the play uh, in the play uh, library. Though it is Annoying, yeah, Annoying Orange colon Carnage Light. And basically, what, what is annoying orange? Okay, so annoying orange is this little animated orange that has um, a mouth and eyes superimposed on it with a really annoying right. voice, and he says stuff. Get the full version now. Huh. So he's already yelling at me to get the full version, which I haven't done yet. Okay, but he makes fun of other fruits and vegetables all the time in the in the annoying, annoying orange. Um, it's, it's actually a show. There's lots right. of different shows. Right. 
So on this one, you're just flinking apples uh, and bananas and tomatoes into a blender. 